a lot of people don't really think to do, but is super important to make your law school application stand out is to... Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Law and Lifestyle with Chelsea. How are you guys doing? I hope everyone is doing well. Today we are going to talk about the oh so anticipated law school application process. So for those of you who want to go to law school or are anticipating you know, your acceptance, because I'm claiming it in advance for you guys. You know, the Bible said that there's death and life in the power of the tongue. So I'm speaking life. You guys will get accepted by following these tips, praying over your application. I am currently a 3L, third year law student. So I'm not too far removed from this application process. So I just want to give you guys tips to really help your application move forward. You guys can share the joy that I shared when I got accepted into law school. Mom, <laughs> I know this is about the time where most of you guys are trying to get your applications in and so I'm going to give you guys key tips to help your application stand out. There are seven main components to a law school application. You have your LSAT account in which you're going to be submitting your applications to. You have your CAS credential assembly system. You have your letters of recommendation, your LSAT score, your personal statement, your transcript, and your resume. Number one, how to make your resume stand out. You want to make sure that your resume is tailored towards the law school application resume format. I will place some links below to show you what your resume should look like when you're applying to law school. Many people are applying to law school right out of undergrad, so it is not required that you have professional experience on your resume. Do not let that deter you from applying to law school. But there are some things that you can include in your resume that will help them stand out. For example, you want your resume to look clean and professional. Follow the template of the links that I will link below and make sure that you have no typos in your resume. Typos in your resume is one way to make your resume go down in the ranking list. You want to make sure that you, your resume is grammatically sound, typo free, clean, and includes key experiences. Even if you don't have professional experience, you could have done internships in undergrad that were really cool or of interest and those are okay to add in. The law school admissions counselors are not looking for you to have saved the world's problems or done a really, you know, intricate legal case in order to, you know, see that you're a well-rounded student. So just make sure that your key experiences are nicely summarized and free of grammatical errors and you will be okay. The second way to make your law school application stand out is to have a good LSAT score. I'm just gonna put this disclaimer out there. The LSAT score, although it carries a lot of weight in your law school acceptance, it is not the end all be all. And I really wanna reiterate that. A lot of people disqualify themselves before letting the school accept or reject them. Do not let your LSAT score hinder you from taking the bold step to apply to law school. All the schools have a ranking or kind of range of LSAT scores that they typically look for. So make sure that in the school that you're applying for, you're looking at their website and seeing what their median percentile is, the 25th percentile, which means that the lower 25th percent scored a certain LSAT score. The 75th percentile will show what's the higher range of LSAT scores that people at that school have and make sure that your LSAT score is within range. If your LSAT score is a little bit below the percentile but you have other strong application credentials, still apply. Do not disqualify yourself based upon your LSAT score. Let the admissions counselors make that decision for you. What I also will note is that your LSAT score is 
closely tied to what scholarships you'll get and any merit-based funding that you'll get in law school. So if you are someone who might not necessarily have the financial resources to apply to law school or to sustain yourself while you're in law school, make sure that you are studying really hard for the LSAT so that your scholarships will be more abundant. If you guys want tips on how to study for the LSAT, make sure to comment down below and I'll do a detailed video to show you guys how to best study for the LSAT. The third thing that's really important in helping your law school application stand out is your letters of recommendation. Depending on the school that you're applying for, there is different requirements as to how many letters of recommendation that you should have. I recommend having people who can attest towards your character and your work ethic. I strongly believe that you should put careful thought into who you're asking to write your letters of recommendation. You want them to be people who will put in effort and really help essentially advocate for you to get into law school because the admissions counselors actually read these and they take it into account who can vouch for your professionalism, who can vouch for your work ethic. And this is a way to compensate if your LSAT score, your GPA might not be so high because this will help the admissions people see that other people are vouching for your professional skills. And so you really wanna make sure that the people that you're asking to write your letters of recommendation can speak towards your character. Another important thing about your letters of recommendation is to research what your school's mission statement is and see what the core values in a law student that they're looking for. And make sure that you have people who can speak to those core values so that the admissions officers who are reviewing your application can see that their mission and your core values align. The fourth thing that will help your application stand out is to apply early. I'm not saying apply early admission or early decision because that's a whole nother ball game. And if you guys also want me to do a video on that, comment down below and I'll be able to break it down and explain the benefits of doing that. I wanna make sure that you are applying as early as possible because law schools admit on a rolling basis. So the earlier your application is in, the more spots they have. And so the better your chances are of getting accepted into law school. When you apply later in the application cycle, they only have fewer spots to fill so generally they probably place more scrutiny because there's less spots to fill so that's why I recommend applying earlier. I mean, obviously I'm not an admissions officer the fifth and probably the most important part of making your application stand out is having a sound personal statement Guys, I cannot stress to you how important your personal statement is. It shows the admissions officers who you are, what you're about, what values, what diversity of thought, what experiences you're bringing into the law school, and it helps them know you for you. If your personal statement is too cliche, as in you can copy and paste your name and put somebody else's name there and it would equally apply to them, then that means that it is not personal. It's just a statement. Make sure that you're really doing time to self-reflect about why you wanna to go to law school. What about law school piques your intellectual curiosity? What experiences have you undergone or underwent that will show the admissions counselors that you are qualified to be in law school and that you would benefit from a legal degree. Make sure that you're including this pertinent information in your personal statement because that will help you stand out. Don't just go on about a long story or, you know, about how you came from a family of lawyers and so that's your duty. That's too cliche. Another thing that will really help your personal statement stand out is to include what clinics, programs, or course offerings that school has that align with your professional interests or intellectual curiosity or your passions to practice the field of law. This will show that you've actually done the research about the school, you're knowledgeable about what the school has to offer and how that would benefit you and how you can benefit the school, and it will help your application stand out. Another thing that you can try to craftfully include in your personal statement is if there's anybody who attends the school that you've talked to that made a profound impact in your decision to apply. 
It will show that you're doing the right things to connect with people who go to the school. And it will also show that you have ties to the school to further help your application and personal statement stand out. I also recommend that you get two to three, no more than that, trusted people to review your personal statement because after tailoring it so many times, you might be missing things or there might be gaps in your story or argument that you want a professional or a trusted person to look at so that you're really turning in the best work possible. Usually I say find a friend or a trusted professional that is a creative writer that can help you with the flow and the style of your paper and then finding a professional, a lawyer or a professor who can edit for the grammar, the flow and the style of your personal statement so that you're kind of getting the best of both worlds, making sure that your personal statement is interesting and also grammatically sound. Sixth thing that a lot of people don't really think to do, but is super important to make your law school application stand out is to attend the LSAC fairs. LSAC holds forums in DC, New York City, and other cities a couple times a year. And it is a fair in which almost all of the ABA accredited law schools have an admissions counselor and a student present that you can talk to, express your interest in the school. And what a lot of people don't know is the admissions counselors actually take note of who goes to these meetings. That, you know, when you go, you, you fill out a form, you sign your name, and sometimes they give you fee waivers, which will also help cut down your costs. It will also help show your dedication towards the school because they actually do remember this. So this is just another way to kind of put your application a step forward by showing that you're actually really dedicated to the school that you're applying for. So do not take light of the LSAC fairs. If you're in the area and the LSAC fair is going on, make sure to go, it will really help you. The last thing that I recommend to help your law school application stand out is to do school visits. Obviously right now we can't do school visits, but some schools have virtual tours or you can even reach out to admissions counselors to generally ask them questions about the school or touch base on them. Don't be too pushy when it comes to reaching out to admissions. That would adversely affect your application, but you do wanna generally express interest. I know because of COVID, things might be a little bit different because you can't go in person, but if you have the opportunity to virtually tour, or reach out to different organizations and people that actually go to your law school and talk to them about the different opportunities that they have. It will also help your application stand out because you can include a little bit about that in your personal statement and it will show that you have done the extra research, gone the extra mile to make your application stand out. Thank you all for watching. I wish you the best of luck in your application process. Make sure to comment down below your acceptances and your success stories because I'm looking forward to hearing from them. Always remember that you can do anything that you put your mind to because with God, all things are possible. I look forward to seeing you guys next Saturday.